Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to Cards and Clarity Tarot, and thank you so much for being here. This is going to be your general weekly reading for February the 3rd through the 9th. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all of that stuff should be addressed within the description box down below. So, Taurus, um... I was sick last week. <laughs> I had to think of what I was going to say. I was sick last week, so that's why I didn't upload any readings. Um, but I'm feeling better enough to upload the readings this week, of course. Um, but if my voice cracks or sounds extra annoying, then that's why. Okay. So, Taurus. When I was meditating, I was seeing a sea turtle. All right. So, sea turtles, I had to look this up because I don't really know. They symbolize uh, <laughs> patience, wisdom, endurance, um, luck. But also like walking your path in peace. And one thing that I did notice as well is that... Um, they're slow on earth and fast in water. So I'm definitely feeling like, you know, you're walking your path in peace. But I do feel like there are things that you need to um, look within. Um, about, like, instead of, you know, if this makes sense, Jesus. Um, like, you're not going to find lasting solutions um, when you're looking for them externally. That's what I'm trying to say here, Taurus. So I feel like there's something that you need to look within about, okay? Let's see here. You know what? I'm going to start out with the soul journey card. Soul journey lesson card. I keep forgetting. And then once I start shuffling the deck, I'm like, oh. Okay, so we've got relationships. Um, I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Okay? So, I feel like, um, Taurus, this could be you letting go of people who don't serve your higher good. Alright? This could be you depending on people who serve your higher good. I'm just a messenger. And if it doesn't resonate, then it doesn't resonate. It's triggering, then it probably resonates. Okay? But, um, I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. All right, so I'm actually going to leave that one out. Um, and then I'll pull one at the end as well. I, was, I almost asked you guys to remind me. <laughs> Jesus, what is wrong with me? All right, let's see here. <clears throat> Cards for Taurus for the week of February 3rd through the 9th. And the way that I read is really sloppy and scattered. So um, I just kind of let cards fall out. It's just the way that I like to read. I feel like it uh, brings more messages. It, it doesn't always tell a story. Uh, sometimes it does, but, you know... Brings more messages. Let's see what we're getting here. Two of Wands and the Lover's card, okay? So see, this is, both of these cards uh, talk about relationships to me. Um, the Lover's card, you could be connecting with the Gemini. You don't have to be, but this to me um, is speaking of codependency, all right? Because the Two of Wands, uh, this is Aries energy, all right? But it talks about not half-assing something, all right? So, um, and the Lover's card kind of refers to that as well. It's like uh, the message that comes off the Lover's card is as long as we're in search for our better half, we're in danger of cutting ourselves in two. So I think that's a good uh, lesson to recognize here this week. Okay, maybe you're searching for your other half. Maybe you're searching for something to complete you externally. All right. Let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse. So this is a card too, to me, of trying to control things. All right, Taurian energy with this card. Tell me more about this. Okay, so we're getting the Two of Swords in reverse. This is Moon and Libra, all right? So, like I said, you're not following your inner guidance. Two of Swords to me is uh, the Moon. It's like your intuitions, your feelings, your inner knowing. You have to kind of use that in order to make choices, in order to walk your path, okay? So, that's what I feel like is happening here. You're kind of feeling stuck, all right? Um, you're feeling distant from people as well, okay? There is some distance here. All right, so there are people that you might feel like you have a strong connection with, that there are some distance uh, between you guys. Um, this could be, you know, friends, family members, whatever the case may be. Um, but, you know, Two of Swords coming out in reverse, it's telling me that you're not really using your using your inner guidance, right? That's why the blindfold is on. It's to distract her from, you know, all this external stuff that uh, shouldn't, you know, be, they shouldn't play a role in the decisions that she's making, right? So let's see here. Anything else for Taurus? So that's what I feel like it's in, it's, uh, in regards to relationships. It's about, um, you know, really trusting yourself and not relying on others, okay? We got the full in reverse Aquarian energy, all right? So there's something you're not ready for, a journey you're not ready for, all right? A journey you're ignoring, okay? Yeah, you're, you're skipping steps, I'm feeling, okay? Tell me more about this, please. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles, that's Earth Energy, <sighs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, all right? You're skipping steps, you're trying to avoid conflict, all right? You're trying to avoid things that don't feel good, all right? You could be connecting with a Capricorn, you don't have to be, but you're trying to avoid things that don't feel good or things that feel too good, okay? That is such a weird message. <laughs> you don't want to attach yourselves to things that feel good, but at the same time, yeah, because you feel like that would lead to conflict, all right? That's interesting to me. All right, and this devil card popped out in reverse. Um, 
you know, right underneath the lover's card. So this could be like, you know, if you look at the similarities between the two of them, all right, and they kind of mirrored one another the way that the devil card popped out over top of it. So this could definitely have been like some kind of connection gone toxic here due to some kind of uh, conflict, all right, or due to some kind of like skipping steps, like skipping, like stepping around conflict or something of that nature, okay? This could have been something that went toxic because of that. But I do feel like you're ignoring steps on some kind of journey as well on your soul's journey, okay? Uh, Page of Pentacles, listen, Page of Pentacles, he uh, is long-term, he's stability. Um, he uh, sets the trend for the long term, all right? So how are you starting off is, is the question I want to ask here. How are you starting off? Are you ready? With this Fool coming out in reverse, there's something you're not ready for. There's something you're ignoring in regards to your journey because the Fool, it is the Fool's journey, okay? So it's like you're setting the trend instantly for your journey to... Um, Listen, I don't know how I can explain this. Jesus Christ. Tell me more about the full in reverse and the Page of Pentacles, please. There's something you're refusing to face because the King of Swords in reverse, okay? This this King of Swords, if you look at the other kings, wasn't there another king out here? Like, for example, take the King of Pentacles, for example. He came out in reverse, but I'm going to put him upright to compare the two, okay? Uh, none of the kings really face you uh, head on except for the King of Swords, okay? The King of Cups looks to one side. The King of Wands looks to another side. King of Pentacles, he looks down at his pinnacle, right? King of Swords, okay? He faces you straight, okay? He, he tells the truth. This, this to me is a card of being honest, all right? It's coming out in reverse. There's something you're not facing. Uh, there's some kind of change that you're not uh, open to is what I'm feeling here. The Star card, you could be connected with an Aquarius as well, all right? You could have Aquarius in your chart, all right? that's what I'm feeling here. You're losing hope in a situation. What's this hope? What's this hope being lost about? You're losing, you're feeling like you're losing power. You, you don't have control over a situation here. All right, Aries energy. This could be in regards to your job. Um, this could be in regards to like commitment in general. All right. You could be losing hope and love in general. All right. Shit. Tell me more about the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is more Aries energy. Tell me more about the Four of Wands for Taurus. <clears throat> it's also like stepping into a new cycle as well, the Four of Wands is. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, see, you're losing hope in something on your path because the star card in reverse um, is my card of like losing hope, okay? So you're losing hope in some kind of wish you had, some kind of path that you wanted to go down. Whew, I don't like that. Jesus, that's heavy. Okay, <laughs> Taurus. What else for Taurus, please? This feels like a one-message kind of reading. What else for Taurus, please? Anything else for Taurus? Some of you, this could be in regards to a home. There's something you wanted here that you're losing hope in getting, okay? There are things that you're refusing, refusing to recognize as well about the journey, all right? You're not taking the lead on your journey here. This is a natural born leader. This is Leo energy, all right? The King of Wands, natural born leader. Um, also a dreamer as well. Like, I just don't feel like you're, it feels like you're giving up on your dreams here, Taurus. I really don't like this. Okay, let's see. This could be in regards to, you know, finding someone to marry, finding a house, finding the job that you want to have, um, you know, being financially stable. There's something you're losing hope. There's a situation you're losing hope in, all right? It feels more relationship-oriented to some of you, if I'm being honest. You're done trying to learn things. You're done trying to figure things out. Ace, page of Swords in reverse. Uh, excuse me, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be connecting with the Scorpio as well, if this is in regards to a person that you're losing hope on. But you're losing hope that things are going to change, okay? You're done trying to figure out. You're done trying to observe and figure out how can I manipulate this in, in the way that I want? How can I, you know, make things happen here with this Magician card? How can I make the changes that I want to make, okay? Um, you feel like there are things getting in your way, Taurus. You feel like people are holding back from you as well. <clears throat> like people are holding back from you as well you're releasing people too you're releasing a lot of people all right there could be some kind of gossip going on about you as well because we've got that coming out with the high priestess uh could be in regards to a pisces or a cancer let me see here 
yeah, you're feeling like you missed an opportunity for your Ten of Cups. Whatever your Ten of Cups is to you, okay? You have your eye on something you've walked away from. Some kind of idea. Could be a job that you've walked away from. You could be considering returning to that. Eight of Cups to me is a card being able to return to something you've walked away from. You've lost emotion in a situation here as well, okay? Let me see here. Yeah, you're wanting things to pick up speed. You're lacking patience in a situation. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Very, you know, card of being patient. Card of things moving very slowly. He's a slow moving knight in the deck. Okay, you're losing patience. You're getting patience. Excuse me, you're getting worried. You're wanting things to pick up speed, okay? Yeah, you're losing patience. You're losing hope. You're losing emotion, all right? Water energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, because it feels like you've been working so, so hard and you're still facing all kinds of restrictions, okay? You're still facing all kinds of limits, all right? I feel like these are limits you're setting, though, okay? I feel like these limits are an illusion, period, okay? Um, because the world card is ruled by Saturn. It's uh, fixed energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo, but Saturn is like boundaries, limitations, restrictions. So you're feeling restricted in whatever it is that you're trying to move on, whether it's a person, a job, whatever the case may be. You're feeling like there's no movement whatsoever. You're losing passion. You're losing motivation, all right, what advice is here? What advice is here for Taurus? Ten of Pentacles. I don't like the message I got off of that. Okay, that's Virgo energy, but. All right, going to the root of a situation, okay? Releasing the blockages. So this could be people. This is Mars and Leo. Okay, this could be people you're releasing the blockages from. Okay, this is also not pushing, like, you know, upright. He's, like, pushing all these wands down. So these are distractions. Um, these are, um, you know, and Mars is, like, really taking initiative, really taking action as well to, uh, you know, to, to bust through all these wands, whatever whatever the case may be here. It's coming out in reverse. I feel like this is saying to have more patience, okay? To look at the root of the situation, to listen to your inner guidance about, you know, whatever this is. I feel like you're feeling lonely at this time, okay? But that's because you need to listen to your inner guidance, okay? There are people, relationships came out here. You know, people are here to teach us lessons. So it's like, it's not a surprise when they disappear because it's time to learn that lesson, all right? It's time to learn that lesson, if you haven't already, okay? But it's time to listen to whatever whatever your guides are telling you, whatever that inner voice is telling you, okay? Let me pull one more Soul Journey card here and see what we're getting, okay? Patience, okay? And this is the sea turtle, too. He represents patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order, okay? So... Yeah, I mean, that pretty much speaks for itself, all right? I feel like what you're ignoring here uh, is the journey, all right? So this card talks a lot about, like, the journey itself being rich in lessons. It's not about the destination. It's about what you learn on the way there. You're missing the treasures and the little things, um, you know, on the journey itself because you're wanting to just get to this Ten of Pentacles and get to the Ten of Pentacles and put me there at the Ten of Pentacles. And that is, you know, even slowing down the process even more because you're not paying attention to the lessons around you because every person that comes into your life, every relationship that you have, Taurus, is a lesson. All right, so that's what I feel like the message is here is to have patience, all right, and to listen to your inner guidance as well. You could be relying on others to be around. Maybe they're not around because this is the lesson that you need to learn, all right? So that's what I feel like saying here, Taurus. Um... Yeah, that's what I feel like saying here. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If so, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe. Tap the bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications for when I upload new content. If it didn't resonate, it's not your story. But um, yeah, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week.